The New Musical Express, NME, is a British music journalism magazine founded in 1952. Initially published by Maurice Kinn under the name The Accordion Times and Musical Express, it quickly transformed into The New Musical Express. In its early years, NME primarily focused on covering jazz and popular music. During the 1960s, under the editorship of Keith Altham and then later by Alan Smith, NME underwent significant changes. It started to cover emerging rock and pop acts more extensively, reflecting the cultural shift of the time. The magazine became a platform for the burgeoning British rock scene, featuring coverage of bands like The Beatles, The Rolling Stones, The Who, and many others. The 1970s saw NME further establishing itself as a leading voice in music journalism, with influential writers like Nick Kent, Charles Shah Murray, and Julie Burchill contributing to its pages. The magazine covered a wide range of music genres, from punk and new wave to glam rock and beyond. In the 1980s and 1990s, NME continued to evolve, adapting to the changing music landscape. It played a crucial role in championing alternative and indie music, giving exposure to bands like The Smiths, The Stone Roses, and Oasis. NME also became known for its controversial and opinionated reviews, often sparking debates within the music industry and among fans. With the rise of the internet and digital media in the late 20th century, NME faced challenges like many print publications. It adapted by expanding its online presence and multimedia offerings, including podcasts, videos, and digital editions. In March 2018, NME ceased its print publication after 66 years and became an online-only platform. This move reflected the changing media landscape and the shift in how people consume content, particularly among younger audiences. Throughout its history, NME has remained a significant cultural institution, shaping the music tastes of generations and influencing the music industry. While its format may have changed over the years, its commitment to music journalism and discovery has endured.